Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Today we're taking the skid loader up to Bellevue. We're gonna do some stuff up there, pull some fence posts and and uh let's see what else we're doing. Level I think we're leveling our driveway up there. It's Saturday, April 21st, and thank you. Hey guys, made it up to Bellevue. Time to load. Pull it up. You can see this hay is just a mess. Yeah, net wrap everywhere. Just so squatty, so we gotta take these back on a flatbed. We probably got a total of a, probably at least a hundred bales sitting up here that are two to three years old. We just been very lazy and lax of days ago about getting them back, but we're just starting to get around to it. That's good. Gotta try and center them as best we can because two six foot wide bales makes you 12 feet wide going down the road. And as you can see this trailers, it's only about 10 feet wide or so. So it's gonna be a little bit wider. That's just the nature with big hay bales. But, so we got some stack of bales here, most of them right there, and then some in the back there. This one is the worst bale. As you can see, there's no net wrap on it. It all fell off. This one's probably, this one's gotta be three years old. So he'll stick this one on top. Oops. Good. So he'll smush it down. That way it is locked down tight. There's the bud man. That's good. Last one, so we'll be able to put 11 on, 11 on each flatbed. The bucket on there so we can back drag. Budman on the Budman and Shane on the side by side. Let's head down. Let's head down. So we're gonna head down and head down to the bottom and pull post. Mine's faster, Bobby. You guys haven't met, so this is my dad. My dad outside actually running, inserting the piece into the stakes. And the reason why my dad isn't running a skid loader and I'm out, out doing this is because my dad had gotten an accident when he was in his 20s and his right leg, he doesn't have a knee in there so he cannot bend his leg. So he can't actually fit inside a skid loader. That's why I had to come back and run the skid loader. Otherwise I'd be out there doing that and he'd be in here. No, that that tool, like I said, this is the first time we're using that fence pulling uh, sheet piece of sheet metal and it is working phenomenal. Granted, the ground's a little bit soft and the posts are coming out pretty good, but it's still, it's, oh, it would have been, it would have taken us four times as long to actually go through and manually pull out each and every stake. Now we just need a skid loader or a loader of some sort, and we can just drive along and pull about three stakes a minute, and it, it makes it go real slick, real quick, too. I wish we'd have thought of this a couple years ago when we first started farming, when my dad started farming. It's 
because it would have saved in our backs a lot. But we got it now and the only thing you got to be careful, you can bend these stakes if you're not pulling it straight up. But as you can see, it's kind of all it's doing is basically just angling it as it gets yanked up and it gets caught on those little ribs on the back side of the stake. It works real nicely. But this all goes back to the root of our problem is we need to fix our fence on the right side of the road. The problem is we just let it go to waste and had a couple cars go through it and not tell us about it so we had to fix it on our own dime. But that happens. And we got Shane Kelch in behind us actually picking up these fence posts too. So you get three people and it goes pretty slick. post right now this is the easiest easiest way you'll ever find to pull a fence post we just my dad just had the bright idea to actually get this made all it is is just like a half inch or quarter inch plate of steel with a triangle cut into it and then a chain loop welded on the end just some way we just have it on our skid loader bucket and we can just walk along and just pull fence posts easiest way it'll save your back so much my dad had a great that's a great idea so special thanks to Diener Stuckin they're actually welding it for us out of Bellevue. And all I'm doing is just driving along, pulling fence posts and saving our back because we used to pull these out manually and that stinks. Putting these in manually suck too. So I mean, because I put all these fence posts in, it's about 200 of them, 200 in total. And it, putting those in stink, but I mean, pulling them out stink worse. Now that we got this, so much easier. Now this thing's definitely the best and cheapest investment that we've made for as far as fencing goes in a long time. All it is that little triangle piece. Looks like half inch or half inch steel. All it is is just a welded chain on the end. And that's it. What took us like 45 minutes used what probably would have taken us a couple hours. Balance a rock, balance a foot and a half wide rock on a three inch pallet fork. Boom. So guys, after we finished back dragging the driveway and pulling all the fence posts, we wanted to push together this brush pile of brush that we burned last year. We want to push the trees closer together so we can reburn them again and hopefully take care of everything. Didn't see that one coming. Woo, that was close. When you are working with trees, you really have to pay attention, as I just about hit my cab with that portion of the tree that I didn't realize it was that big. It almost swung over and smacked my cab. And now, time to head back, fill up the flatbed one more time, and head back to Preston. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want more action videos like this, or would you like more highly edited videos. I'll be able to do both coming up with field season coming up. So follow us on Facebook and Instagram, all at Hartung Family Farms. And uh, we'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.